Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com slash saustash and use offer code saustash to get 10% off of your first purchase. I've made bacon from rice paper, soy skin, I've made bacon from a radish, and the whole journey started when I made bacon from a mushroom. Now, that mushroom wasn't a mushroom that tasted like bacon on its own. It was just a mushroom that was shaped like bacon and I was able to flavor it and season it to taste like bacon. But now I've heard of the bacon mushroom, otherwise known as the pink oyster mushroom. Now I've heard a lot of different things about this mushroom. I haven't tasted it yet. Some people say that when you cook it to a crisp and salt it, it tastes just like bacon. Other people say it tastes more like ham. Some people say it tastes just like a mushroom. Now I tried my hardest to get my hands on this mushroom, but realistically I couldn't find it commercially around me. So I did the next best thing and I grew my pink oyster mushroom. Now this mushroom here came from Forest Origins. I'll leave my affiliate Amazon link so you can pick up yours today, but you can also check out Forest Origins. They're a small local company that sells different oyster mushrooms. Now I will say that this grew in about seven days, which was really wild. I mean this from start to finish seven days, it was amazing to see. After the first few days, it literally started blowing my mind. But let's get going and see if the pink oyster mushroom, the bacon mushroom, if it actually tastes like bacon. The pink oyster mushroom, or Pleurotus jammer, is a member of the Pleurotikai family. That is a family of small to medium-sized mushrooms that have a white spore. The pink oyster mushroom's gone by many different names, but it was given its current name in 1959. They originate in South Asia and can grow up to around 13 inches large. They commonly grow with comfortable indoor temperatures between 71 and 72 degrees Fahrenheit and can grow to maturity in one to two weeks. That's why it's a really great mushroom to be able to grow at home. I ordered a simple growing kit which had a growing substrate that was loaded with spores and all you had to do was cut open the bag on the lines and then continually water it, putting it in a cool place that still had access to some sunlight. And after about seven days, it grew to complete maturity. It was pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna try to harvest this whole thing. I don't know if I should just kind of pluck it off. That's what it seems like I'm doing. And it just seems like, yeah, it came right off. I mean, look at that. This is amazing. I mean, it looks like a beautiful flower. Now it does have a pretty, there's like a mushroom smell to it, but it is a little pugent. But I'm gonna go ahead and close this up because I believe, I don't know how to do it, I'm gonna have to read, but I believe you could do two harvests on this. I believe I'm gonna be able to get another mushroom out of this, but I don't know, we'll find out. I'm gonna set this aside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of clean off this bottom here. This is, you know, the point at which it was connected to the growing block. Now this is, it's, I haven't really like touched it. Um, it's a lot, it's not as firm as I thought it would be, which is really interesting. And it does say that once you harvest it, that you should eat it right away. Now I'm just kind of chomping off. There's a really firm bit near the base. And these almost have like a feeling of like flower petals. They're really soft. Just gonna get a small bowl and just kind of add the larger ends of the mushroom. Now, if I were to guess, I would say that I probably got about almost a pound out of that. I think that was a pretty good amount for that little block that I got and growing it myself for my very first time. I mean, I'm pretty excited about what I have here. So I'm gonna use my stainless steel skillet. I'm gonna get this thing pretty lightning hot to try to fry up these things, almost like a stir fry, and just see how well they do. Now I'm also gonna use uh, Earth Balance butter. This is a vegan butter, like a margarine. So we've got some smoke on the pan. It looks like it's nice and hot. I'm gonna throw a few of these in here, just a small handful, and just see if I can get, get them crispy or a little sear on them. Now it's funny when you, these things crisp up, they definitely get, they definitely have like a crisp to them, which is really surprising. And they definitely have a smell of a way that I didn't expect at all. So when you cook them, they completely lose their pink color, which is pretty interesting. And it's a pretty boring cook, not like a lot of pop, not a lot of sizzle, but I mean, what do you expect? So I'm just gonna throw a pinch of salt on them. Okay, so here it is. It kind of looks like a chip a little bit. Let's see, do these guys taste like bacon just cooked and salted? <laughs> okay, so I mean, wow. So yeah, if you get them a little crunchy, just a little bit. I probably needed to go a little bit more crunchy. There is like a ham-like taste to them. Wow, they do kind of have a bacon taste. I'm gonna say kind of, because it's not like really prevalent. But like, I love these things. So the thing is, is because you have to cook these all up, I'm gonna cook them all up. Wow, unbelievable. But we're not done. We're not done, hold on. 
they do have some bacon taste. Let's whip up a little bacon flavor slurry, see if we can just elevate it a little bit more. So I recently started designing a new website, Sawstash Mark, and I'm designing that on squarespace.com. I chose Squarespace because of their powerful blogging tools. It allows you to share recipes, photos, videos, recommendations. You can categorize and schedule your post. It made it really easy. They also have some really great templates to choose from, and all of their templates are designed with modern browsers and mobile devices in mind. So head over to squarespace.com to start a free trial, but when you're ready to launch your website, head to squarespace.com slash Sawstash and use offer code Sawstash to get 10% off of your purchase of a domain or a website. It's pretty awesome. So we're not gonna do much because these naturally already have a great kind of porky, slightly bacony flavor. So we just wanna elevate that. So I'm just gonna do about a tablespoon of soy sauce, just a touch of maple syrup, a few dashes of smoked paprika, probably more than what we needed, that's smoked paprika. So then I'm also just gonna do just a drop of liquid smoke. Tiny Whisk is gonna join the party. Let's just whisk these guys up real quick. Let's get that heat going again. I'm gonna cook them the same way. And I really wanna see how well we can take this bacon flavor with these things. I'm actually surprised at how much these things tasted like bacon. I mean, it's like shocking. The bacon oyster mushroom. Did you think it tasted like bacon? Yes, a lot. We have to grow them. Yeah, I want to grow them all the time. Now these mushrooms do seem to react very similar to just about any other mushroom. So I'm gonna be very light with this seasoning sauce. So I'm just gonna kind of drop this on here just a little bit. And all I'm gonna do is just drop a bit of salt on these guys. Okay, I mean, they're, I mean, they look awesome. I think they're gonna be perfect. I think this is what's gonna take them over the top. <laughs> The mushroom that tastes like bacon, the pink oyster mushroom, the bacon ushroom, the mush aken, the mush aken. These things are really wild. They really have a really distinct taste to them. They're really good. I mean, they're delicious. They're absolutely delicious. Somebody yelled at me for saying unbelievable too many times, but they're unbelievable. They're unbelievable. So I'll describe the taste. They do have like a ham-like taste to them. There is that like ham-like aftertaste. Now that I added a little bit of like smoke, a little bit of paprika, which really helps bring out that bacony type of flavor. I really do think the salt plays a really strong contributing factor to the taste. Now, I don't know if this would fool you into thinking you were eating bacon, but if I had a sandwich loaded with these, I'd be pretty happy. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i literally just eating this whole, I'm sitting here eating this whole plate. So I'm gonna give them a plus right along with the chicken of the woods. This is the bacon of the woods in my opinion. That's what these things should be called, the bacon of the woods. Love it. I mean, wow. <laughs> so all the names that you see scrolling over here on the side, these are the members of the Sauce Squad. You could join the Sauce Squad for only a buck a month over at patreon.com slash saucestash. Really helps me out do what I do here on the show. And I wanna thank squarespace.com for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you head over to squarespace.com for your free trial, but when you're ready to launch a website, go to squarespace.com slash saucestash and enter code saucestash to get 10% off of your first order. If you haven't yet, make sure you click the subscribe button and click this video right here. It's gonna be another one of my, should I do bacon or mushroom series on this one? Bacon or mushroom? I'm gonna eat the rest of these.